New this morning, anyone who has tried to find childcare recently knows how difficult it can be to find an open spot. And it's not showing any sign of improving. 13 on your side's Julie Koharik spoke with nannies about the shortage and the demand they're seeing now. She joins us live in the studio with more. Julie, what are they saying? Yeah, they say the shortage is a crisis. The ending of federal COVID funding means 1,200 childcare facilities in Michigan could close. Now nanny agencies expect more families will turn to them. Did it. Next one. Elise Wolters is a full time nanny. Oh my goodness. Well, I've been there for every single milestone. For a family that knows finding childcare can feel like a full time job. She's knocking stuff over and laughing. So they started looking a few months into her pregnancy. I met her when she was five weeks old. It took multiple months long daycare wait lists before they found Elise on Facebook. People are having to put their baby on a daycare wait list the second they find out they're pregnant. Providers say it's only going to get worse. We're just telling families to start ahead of time and allow for as much time as possible. Thousands of child care facilities across Michigan and 200,000 across the country are now without pandemic relief funding. That's almost $24 billion gone. I don't really see anything getting better in the near future. And without it, <laughs> already full daycares may have to pull back care or shut down entirely. Before COVID, I would say it would be realistic to find a match within two months, um, but now we're we're telling families at least four to five months. So more families are turning to okay. nannies. There's just not enough nannies to go around right now. Which also means spending money they didn't necessarily um, intend to spend. If families are struggling to afford daycare, it's likely that a nanny is also not going to be a sustainable option for them. So there's no end in sight for this milestone shortage. If we empathize with those parents. We share in that stress. You know, we really want to provide that child care for our families. And if she needs help, she can ask for help. Help. They agree it's something that needs to be addressed on a larger scale. It's important for people to keep in mind that a nanny is one person. So that all families don't have to choose between an income Good. or staying home with their child full time. Great. West Michigan nannies say they fit each nanny to a family's specific needs, so they ask anyone who's interested to apply. Jane Emily, back to you.